Motors is Carmen San Diego. Forgot to say please. Carmen? 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 Chief, an Acme agent in Nepal said Carmen was spotted in Kathmandu. We've been signaling you for... Chief? Oh, what's wrong with him, Ive? Turn off that obnoxious video game for starters. What? U.S. Air Force reconnaissance film? Carmen, pull out! Pull out! Is that... Carmen, she's, uh... She never had a chance. She's, uh... Gone forever. Not Carmen. Chief, come on. No way she could be... No. No more news. The search was canceled. She was buried under a million tons of snow. I, I, I'm gonna uh, go. If you need any info, access pre-recorded files. I uh, can't process any more right now. He's in bad shape, sis. Before Carmen went bad, she was the chief's top detective. And when you lose someone you care for like that, grieving is natural. It's so final. Better close your file. Bye, Carmen. What? What's going on? Oh, 
Get a load of this, Ive. Hello, detectives. If you're closing my file, I guess something unforeseen must have happened to me. She somehow bugged the cancel code, so if we ever closed her file, it would activate a hidden message. What will you do, detectives, now that I'm gone? I guess that means you were the best after all. Or does it? Even though I won't be there to pull it off myself, I do have one last big crime to remember me by. The clock is ticking. Three clues to Carmen's final caper. It's Carmen's attorney, Lee What's-His-Name. Good day. I'm Lee Calise, and the law can be tricky, so listen carefully. In the event of the eventuality which is eventuated, I have been instructed to state the following. Be it known that under the standard criminal empire succession agreement with respect to paragraphs 1 through 85, B is expressly set forth therein, the party of the first part, namely Carmen San Diego, order and proprietor of Vile, hereby causes a contest to be initiated amongst the party of the second part, known the outcome of which contest shall determine who shall assume all roles and responsibilities of said estate, by virtue of, to wit, the solution of three clues of which said contest is solely and completely comprised. Thank you for your attention. I've taken the liberty of extracting my retainer from the estate. Have a nice day. If not, consider suing. What was all that mumbo jumbo? He said, if you'd only listened, that Carmen left three clues. And whoever solves the most will inherit vile. <laughs> Crime number one. I'll leave you footprints near the Leaky Mountain. A Leaky Mountain? Player, info scan... what? Um, maybe volcanoes. They're kind of leaky mountains. Chief! What? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just trying to figure out where I went wrong, detectives. Uh, with Carmen. You know, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll get out of your way. You, you have work to do. No, Chief, wait! Don't blame yourself, Chief. She made the choices that put her in that avalanche on her own. But, you know, it helps to think about the time you did have with her. It'll make you feel better about the good things. You think so? Hmm. Whoa! Carmen's henchmen must be scoping out the same clues. Abe L. Body was just arrested stealing a truckload of volcanic ash from Mount St. Helens. Carmen's final clues would never be easy enough for a bonehead like Abe L. Body to crack. <laughs> bonehead. Hey. That's not a bad idea, Zach. What if this Leaky Mountain isn't a volcano, but a Leaky Mountain, as in a mountain explored by Louis Leakey? The famous paleontologist! That's brilliant, Ivy! Players, info scan Dr. Louis Leakey. The following information was pre-recorded at an earlier time. Okay, if you're talking Louis Leakey gum shoes, and I think you are, you have to be talking Old Dubai Gorge, a small valley in East Africa, where this digger who dug the past did some serious digging. Dig, dude. This concludes the current pre-recorded info. Wow. The chief definitely recorded that before he started grieving over Carmen. Now, if Carmen's Leaky Mountain does mean Olduvai Gorge, what's the part about footprints? Wait, freeze frame a sec. What if it's not Louis Leaky at all, Ivy? But the Leaky could be his wife, Mary Leaky. Right. She was a brilliant paleontologist, too. And her greatest discovery is an ancient trail of footprints found buried in volcanic ash in Tanzania. Footprints near the Leaky Mountain. It's got to be that trail of the oldest known footprints on Earth. Player, C5 us to Tanzania. <laughs> We're blazing now. This C5 corridor from San Francisco to the East African country of Tanzania has been pre recorded for your traveling pleasure. Carmen's henchman archaeology? Almost four million years old. This is incredible. This is unbelievable. This is very old. <clears throat> Excuse me. What you doing, Archie? Go away. Uh, huh? You're busted, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Archie! Where are you going? Huh? 
Not the preferred method of capturing a crook. Hey, Ivy. Is that what I think that is? Don't move a muscle, Zack. Can you name the paleontologist who unearthed the oldest human footprint on Earth? Mary Leakey unearthed a four million year old human footprint. Stay calm. He's probably just protecting his territory. Don't move a muscle. Just get me out of here. I've always hated field work. Don't worry, Archie. Have we got a nice safe cage for you. Go ahead, Amity. Zack, Ivy, we just broke Crom and Sack on Clue. We're on our way, Amity. Record coordinates. Get to Milan, Italy. The target is Leonardo da Vinci's painting of the Last Supper. Player, do the C5 thing. This pre-recorded tunnel is bound from Olduvai Gorge, Tanzania, to Milan, Italy. Ah, Milan is a bustling city and the main industrial region of Italy. It's also the home of the Milan Cathedral, one of the most spectacular churches in the world. It ought to be. It took him 500 years to build. Boy, you want to talk about overtime? You'll find Leonardo's Last Supper in a much more humble church, the Santa Maria della Grazie. I can say that all day. Santa Maria della Grazie. Santa... Never mind. Okay, for 20 pounds of pasta and the championship, who's the greater artist? Leonardo da Vinci, who painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper? Or Michelangelo, famous for the Statue of David and the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? It's me. It's me. No, 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 it's not it's me. No, definitely me. No, come on. They were arguing about it back then, and people still argue about it today. Art lover kisses canvas. Oil paintings at 11. Uh, Lars, the painting's on the wall. Right. So what do you need? Bolt cutters, screwdrivers? No, it's on the wall. Of course it's on the wall. This is a museum. No, it's a fresco. It's a museum. No, the painting's a fresco. No, the painting's a Da Vinci, you witless insect. So how are we going to take it? We're not. It's a fresco, and that means it's painted on the wall. I told you it was on the wall. Yeah, but who knew it was on the wall? Sounds like badly in need of a nose job, Mo Skeeter. And Lars Vegas, the biggest sleaze bag on the circuit. Then, speaking of bags, I say we bag them. Oh, my hair! No, no, what's uh, happening? Got the grappling hooks? Good idea. Oh, think quick, I mean. What is a fresco? Don't try this at home, kids, but a fresco is a style of art where the picture is painted directly onto a wall. Look what you did, Mo! Get us out of here! So oh, no. No. <laughs> well, Carmen, they're not. Uh, guys, I, I have something I need to tell you. How you doing, Chief? Well, I, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You two. And I, well, I, I couldn't bear it if anything were to happen to you. Nothing's gonna happen to us, Chief. And nothing's gonna happen to this case if we don't figure out the next clue. Okay, okay, just be careful out there. You're all I've got. Oh, I'm through. Do the clue, whoop you do toodaloo. I think he's making progress, Ive. He seems to be putting Carmen's demise behind him. Yeah, and he's getting back on his feet, back to business. I don't have feet, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think he's turning the corner. Okay. Quite a feat to turn the tide. What does this clue mean? Well, the tide is caused by the pull of the moon's gravity. 
But what would you steal? Ivy, you know how Carmen loves to play with words? What if the feet really means feet? And whose famous feet were once on the moon? I'm gonna step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Zach, Ivy. Hey, it's Michelle, what's up? I'm down here at NASA, and there's been some strange activity spotted on the lunar surface. Whoever this nutcase is has some kind of souped up rocket and- Ivy, I'll bet you anything it's Cerebellum. She cracked this clue ahead of us and is after Neil Armstrong's footprints. Player, C5 us to the Kennedy Space Center, Florida. And this controls thrust vectors, kind of like a live action video game. But we don't even know if the C5 corridor can send us to the moon. And even if it can, you know it's not accurate enough. We could wind up on Vulcan. Ah, uh, did some tabulating, Gumshoes, and uh, it's not good. Even if I drain the hard drive, compress the data stream, fire up the hyper inner dynal laser transometer, and establish a sub ether connection with a laser reflector, there's still only a small window of opportunity. How small, Chief? Well, you have exactly 60 seconds on the lunar surface, and if I miss bringing you back by one millisecond. Millisecond? That's it! We're not going! C5 launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, uh, 6. Stop! No, no! Five, wait, wait, you're right! Four, I, I can't three, sanction this! Two, abort mission! Abort one, mission! Wait, zero, hold everything! Launch. Zack, Ivy, we gotta rethink this. You're on your way 239,000 miles to the lifeless, airless, waterless moon. Oh no, what have I let them do? Okay, she's not here. Let's go home. There she is, Zach. I sure hope the chief is paying attention, Ivy. We've got less than a minute before he needs to energize the C5 and get us out of... What? Whoa. 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 Well, well, well. You're a long way from home, Zachary. I go where the crime is, Sarah. Maybe you didn't know that about me. No matter. I've already got the memorial plate. But you don't have that footprint, do you, Sarah? And that's what you need. I have it now. T minus 22. No, Zach! We have to have her in custody when the C5 kicks in. Whoa! T minus 15. Oh, no! Chief! Chief, come in! Ivy, he's not listening! 10. He'll come nine, through for us! He's got to! 8. 7. We Six. need you! Five. Hey, stop right there! Sarah Bellum, you're busted! I'll never let another crook get away like Carmen did! <laughs> All right! Hey, that's your normal self. Yep. Now let's go home. Zipping around with those jetpacks? We were on the moon! I am looking at two of the finest detectives I know. And two of the best friends I have. Ah, it's good to have you back with us, Chief. Wow! You know, losing Carmen really hurts, but it's going to be okay. There's one last thing we should do, Chief. I think it'll help us all finally get over our loss. Goodbye, Carmen. I hope you found some peace. Huh? Look, Zach. What's this? Look up. <gasps> Carmen! I'm truly touched, detectives. Nice to know my successors really care. Successors? You beat out all my henchmen, so you get to take my place, if the occasion should ever really arise. What do you know, Carmen? It was all just a clever trick to find out who could take your place someday.
Oh, there you are, Carmen. That's right, the old foolish chief crying like a baby over somebody playing a great big trick on him. Well, I don't think it was clever. Well, the added bonus for me was finding out that you really still care about me, Chief. Oh, yeah? Well, but uh, that doesn't mean that I won't see you behind bars as soon as possible, Carmen. Until next crime, Chief. I just love it when you get so emotionally involved. <laughs> Zack, Ivy, we're back on the job! Do not let her get away! Warning, warning, Will Robinson, do you hear me? Ahooga! Ahooga! I want her cause! No parking in the white side! Cookie jar! 